<laughs> oh boy. Good morning. I bring greetings from the Maryland Department of Transportation and our Secretary Paul Wiedefeld. I'd like to thank Wayne and Patricia for their many years of hard work building an organization focused on advocating for minority and small businesses. I also want to congratulate all the honorees for your commitment to doing business with minorities. It's just good business. I'm truly honored to be a recipient of this award. The Office of Minority Business Enterprise is the official certification agency for the state of Maryland's MBE program and the Federal Disadvantaged Business Enterprise DBE, ACDBE, which is airport concessions, and the small business enterprise programs. We are the largest certification agency in the country and this month reached a major milestone of over 9,000 minority-owned businesses listed in the directory. My position as director of OMBE plays an important role and is key to ensure that only bona fide minority business enterprises are certified. I have a long history and passion for service to the minority business community and civil rights. I have served um, both in the private and public sectors for over 30 years. My passion comes from the values my father and grandmother instilled in me. My father served in the military and was an entrepreneur. He opened the first pharmacy in Turner Station back in the 1960s. That was to fulfill a need in our community. Later in life, he had a thriving management consulting firm in the areas of health, legal, and finance, and worked with other minority businesses. Believe it or not, my grandmother worked in transportation. She built airplanes back when Martin Marietta was the Glen L. Martin Company. I know they would be very proud of me today. MDOT is committed to providing contracting opportunities to the minority business community. We have five tables here today. I want to thank my colleagues for coming out to support me and MWMCA. If you are not certified, be sure to stop by the MDOT tables for information on certification and upcoming procurement opportunities. I want to thank my husband and family for supporting me for over 34 years on this journey. Last but not least, I especially want to thank my staff. It takes a team of dedicated professionals providing exceptional customer service to make these programs successful. We are a team, 1-O-M-B-E. <laughs> And without their commitment and support, this award would not be possible. Before I take my seat, I have two quotes to share with you that have governed my life professionally and personally. Always try to leave your best behind and keep before you the vision of that which shall be better than your best, Dr. William C. Harris. It always seems impossible until it's done, Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Thank you for this honor. Yeah.